Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to be talking about a, a topic that may be personal to you, it may not be, I don't know, but why do most people quit jujitsu, specifically wet belts? So we'll get to that video right now. What's up guys, my name is Jason Hill, I'm a jujitsu black belt, I've been teaching and training for over 12 years now. So if you like all things jiu-jitsu, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. I greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure you comment down below on what belt are you, how long you've been training for. I'd like to hear from you guys. So make sure you uh, leave me a comment down below on those things. Today, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on why do I think most people quit jiu-jitsu, specifically white belts. Why do most people quit jiu-jitsu? Number one, jiu-jitsu is freaking hard, okay? It's not an easy thing to do. There's a reason why I think there's been an estimated that there's less than 5,000 black belts in the world. I don't know. I think I read that off an internet article. I don't survey all the jiu-jitsu people, but that seems about right. Jiu-jitsu is really actually very small in the ecosphere of the world. Not even every country, I think, yet has jiu-jitsu in it. There's been a lot of talks that people want to put jiu-jitsu in the Olympics, but because not every country even trains it, that'd be very, very hard to do. So if you just look at it from that perspective, outside of like Brazil, North America, and a few European countries, uh, Russia probably, there's really not that much jujitsu around the world. There's an American mindset that we like things instantly. We, we live in this world, of, especially of social media or Amazon, we want to buy something and we want it now. Um, the idea that you're going to have to train something for 8 to 10 years at minimum in order to achieve what most people would deem as mastery or become an expert in something is unrealistic, right? Even to get a college degree, most people only take four years to get their undergrad, another two years to get their master's, and then PhD, it's a whole different topic, and people spend years doing that. It just takes such a long time, as opposed to a lot of traditional martial arts. You know, you can get your black belt in half of that amount of time. Um, so jujitsu just, it's, it's a long time. To do something for eight to 10 years as a hobby is unrealistic. People end up uh, lives, kids, relationships, jobs, all of these things are factors into why people stop training jujitsu. People want to find ways that they want to quit without saying they want to quit. Say you're a white belt and you've been training your three or four stripes, you've gotten over this kind of bonus period of this brand newness and you're starting to kind of you know be known around your gym but people are starting to train with you a little bit harder things are getting a little bit more frustrating actually I have a whole video on that that you guys can check out up here about that with white belts you figure all these peaks out and then you're just like man it's just not as fun as it used to be this isn't what I really want it to be I don't feel like I'm learning as much uh, uh, my wife is complaining at me a lot uh, she's always texting me uh, uh, I'm just gonna quit. It really wasn't because your wife was texting you that you wanted to quit. It was really because of the mental things and everything else that's going on in the gym. You're getting frustrated that you're not learning as much. You're getting frustrated that you're getting beat up. And so you just use that as a little enhancer to end your jiu-jitsu journey. One thing that probably everyone's gonna do at least one time in the jiu-jitsu journey is take a break. And that happens. You know, it's, it's not wrong to take a break. You know, you may take a break for three, four months or six months or even a couple of years. I've had students take a couple of years, but it's about the person that comes back after the break and that person that continues to keep training that's gonna make it to black belt. I assume the first day that you guys walk into the gym, you want to be a black belt. You want to be proficient at this stuff. That's why you're there learning it. So you have to think about it from that mindset. You're not gonna be able to do it in a year or two. The two things I've seen people ruin jujitsu jiu jujitsu careers, two things that I've seen people stop training jujitsu the most of. Number one, a single guy comes in, he's training, he's in his like late 20s, early 30s, and he's training all the time, training four or five days a week, there all the time, very part of the community, he gets a girlfriend, he gets married, never see the guy again been training for 12 years. I can't tell you how many guys I've seen that and none of them have come back from that specific instance. The second thing, the guy starts training, uh, uh, typically, you know, if he's married, whatever, he's he's starting to train, you know, the wife is okay with it, all these things, you know, you're at your place, we could do it, job is stable. You have a kid. First time you guys have a kid, it will throw off everything about it, especially if you were the person training, 
and you didn't have a kid to now you enter in a kid into the new world, your training goes down. Now what's very fascinating is a lot of times when people come in after those things are established, their consistency is much better. Because once your kid gets to a certain age, once your relationship gets to a certain point, you can balance those objectives much easier. But I, I don't know what it is mentally about when people were single or they didn't have kids and they were training and then those, these new things come in and then they just never come back. Um, I know it's hard to balance all these things, but it happened. I've also seen obviously financial things kill jujitsu, people not making uh, good financial decisions, you know, with their life people losing their jobs or changing their careers, all those things take into effect. But just know, the first day that you walk into the mat, it's 10 years until you get a black belt. You're gonna have all the, no one lives a perfect life. You don't walk into, you know, the Jiu Jitsu gym already with a with the perfect uh, family dynamic and your kids are here and your uh, relationship with your partner is here and then your job's perfect here. All those things can change so fast. I've even had to experience that. I was training all the time, I was training seven days a week before I was really an instructor and training and all through college and just going through school. I got married and then, you know, everything like that. So my training has decreased myself, but I continue to do it partly it's because it's my job. So that's one way to hack the system right there, make jujitsu your job and, you know, get, get away with a lot more. You know, we all will have these things. So even jujitsu instructors have gone through their life reasons of almost quitting probably and then staying in it. Everyone comes to a pivotal point it's why are you gonna quit so the outside effects are a big reason most people can make it to the magical purple belt that's where most people will probably stay um, not stay at purple belt but that's probably where they'll stay in jiu-jitsu for a lifetime um, man once people even if they're you know three or four stripes of their white belt or they're even a blue belt if they quit, there is a low percentage chance that they're gonna come back. They might. If a purple belt needs to take some time off, I'm not as worried because the purple belt, they already know what it's like. They've been training long enough, they've invested enough. It's a part of their life, it's a lifestyle that they probably need it in their life most likely. So hopefully that uh, gives you guys some piece of information, right? If you're thinking about training or if you're a white belt in training and you're thinking about quitting, there's probably these outside effects that are really the reason for quitting. Jiu Jitsu is, it's hard, but it's also easy. If you show up and train and do the stuff, you will get better. It, it does happen. It will happen. You'll add to your library collection. That's all you gotta do is show up and train. It's these other things, these outside life perspectives that nag at you, that pull you away from training. You get a black belt, it's hard, but it's not. It's not like learning calculus or physics and learning all these things. Literally, if you show up to class, do the stuff you're supposed to do and, you know, train, you will get better. That's it. It's, it's That's not hard. The action of doing it while you're there is hard. So because of that, it makes you want to quit. But it's these other things out here, these outside things that pull you away. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Make sure you keep that in mind. If you're, if you're thinking about training, keep those thoughts in mind. The first day that you walk in the gym, you should be like, already thinking about the things that would pull you away. What are you gonna do? Have a backup plan, have a game plan for those things. Trust me, it will help you out if you really wanna be a black belt. If you don't wanna be a black belt, that's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Hopefully you do. We need more black belts in the world. We really need more because that's how we spread the art. So I really hope we can. So thank you guys for checking this video out. Make sure, like I said, comment and like down below of uh, what rank you are, what belt you are. I'd like to hear from you guys. Um, also, shameless plug, I have a podcast called the Chasing Life Podcast that you guys can check out down below right here. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.